And we are back from the break. <clears throat> there have been some discussions about the questions to ask with the commune. Mm. Uh, do you guys Unfortunately, have any... Brax has many questions about the quality of wood in the the, the uh, crystal. I'm sphere. not I've asking been, mundane. Questions I've been like vetoed. That. I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> also. Uh, the answers to those uh, questions about wood would yes, be no, either just, just yes or no, Braxen. <laughs> <laughs> no, car sorry, carry on. And then he learns that there there is special wood, so he goes on a uh, a quest to find the special wood, and then uh, all he learns about it is that it's really pretty uh, when it's in its natural state, and it's ugly if it's cut. Ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, so... Um, there are some preliminary questions. Um, is, do you guys want to discuss them? Anyone have any uh, anything that they want to add or change or anything like that? Where do you see the inner sphere worlds? Obviously, you don't see, you can't see them on this map. Oh, on the right. Yeah, scroll to the right. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, there's two maps. One so, map represents yeah, the when you're in the, the, other one. the closest sphere, it opens up to the. So, also, the, the first ten blocks are that very center dot on the, uh, the outer one. Um, the reason why you can see the, uh, the one with the ring is because it's close enough to be in both. So how many worlds are there in total? Alright, zoom out. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see. It. I know what you're on about. So there's, there's these oh, three the are the worlds. inner ones, inner worlds, one, and then two, three, this and one two. is both inner and outer. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that one is seven, the same eight, as nine. oh, this there one. is nine. Hmm. There's six planets. There's... Yeah, but there's also moons. Yeah, there are moons. Which I mean, you can, can just ask be. if the planet, planet and the moon, if either of them have a safe port. We can then, uh, when we get close to, uh, basically just scout out which one has the safe port of those two. Well, what happens if uh, the very first planet that you ask about has a safe world and you're, you had all these other questions set up for, does the this other world have a safe port? Does this other one have a yeah. safe port? Yeah, would you still want to ask? Because we could go to the first place. I mean... Yeah, but it also delays trying to come up with questions. <laughs> that takes time. Yeah, but do you need to ask questions if you can't ask questions? <laughs> well, no, I just routinely ask, you know, their friendly powers, uh, well, friendly ports at each of the other. But uh, I would I would suggest that uh, we add uh, the question I suggested uh, onto the list uh, after you have asked uh, if, the, if the war is still ongoing about asking if the elves are winning. But does not leave the possibility of guessing. Uh... I mean, if you ask if the elves Could are winning, the answer is uh... yes or no. So, can it answer can, something can, that's not yes or no in this yes, case? Yes, they can. They if, can. It, the the answers answers are generally yes or no, but they can be very very short, like no more than five is, word answers. Like there is no war. Like that could also be an appropriate response. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Don't again. Don't get too like wrapped up in 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 nitty gritty trying to get this like like this is a, a, a either you'll get information that I want you to have or you're not going to get information I don't want you to have kind of thing you know I mean like I'm, I'm, mm. I'm not out to screw you or, or trick you or something like that now questions may be vague like answers may be vague that that may happen uh, but it's not it's not don't it's worry not like you're too trying much to... Yeah, it's not like you're trying to get a wish from Captured Genie. Yeah. No, yeah, no. I'm just trying to think how I'm supposed to word it, incorporating, changing your wording to my wording. The first question. Uh, uh, 
I mean, and again, I like if 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 I know exactly what your intent is, uh, then I'm not. Again, I'm not. Going well, to be I'm too after information concerned. on the. Right, I know, but if I know what your intent is, then I'm not too concerned if the wording is a little bit goofy or weird or something like that, you know? Because I don't know how to ask the question without an and, and that means there's two questions, because I asked two things. Well, then, ask two questions. Well, no, because that takes up a question. <clears throat> yeah? I got nine questions. Yeah. What question are you adding to and? No, I was combining yours and mine with question one because it's the same thing. Well, no, the first question is the if the if the war is ongoing oh, and if the second it's involves enough. if it's ongoing uh, how how it's going for the elves. Yeah, a second contingent question. Yeah. Uh. That's the point of the question I. Uh, yeah suggested if uh, so if the war is ongoing then you ask if elves are winning then you if the answer is no you know that they are not winning and need help all right i'll change the question to, to... and again since this is also a a party thing like you're you're not if you were asking questions about like some thievy thing that you didn't want the rest of the party to know about, then yeah, I'd be a little bit more of a stickler for you have to come up with the questions. Uh, but since you're doing this for the party, I All don't right, yeah, mind no. if the other players come up with questions and you're like, yep, just going with that one kind of thing. Uh, Alright, the first three questions I am certain on, the rest of the questions are just going to be information about the planet supports. You know, if there's a friendly one there. And I'll obviously I won't have enough, so it's a case of which ones do we really want to know about, basically. Well, once you know so that there's that... a friendly port, then you can just go to that friendly port and get more information about the other worlds. Yeah. yeah. They're the three ones that I was mainly concerned with. Well, just you also don't from... have to ask all of your questions. Yeah. I I would say about that pool, um, the closest we 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 go from the closest sphere outwards until we find a friendly port, and then we stop at that point. I guess. Well, we, when if if we confirm that that flat world is friendly, which I was gonna, friendly I was going to try to do visually anyway. If we confirm that we can go there and there's not like a revolution going on in the world or anything, um, then I would have. Thought we'd go there and ask the Imperial Elven Navy there what's going on and do they need a hand and where do they need us to help? Um, if your deity can actually give you information, then maybe you could find out where the elves are being attacked, where we could make a difference. Although that's not a yes no question. Well, I mean, but again, like. Where can, you make a a distance, where, where can you make a difference is also something that you can just ask at a friendly port. Uh, no, I know your I know your deity's not good at war, but like if there was if there were a bunch of captured elves that we could free, or there's a an elven base that's being overrun that we could liberate, or something like that, there might be something we could do that turns the tide that the elves might not know about, or there might be spies somewhere. There might be questions like that you can so ask. So can you... can I can I propose a a question because this is like something that that the elven can vessel that's going to be staying with you is going to want to know. Like if there's a friendly port, that's that's great and all. Elven vessel doesn't give a crap. What they want to know is is there an elven imperial navy uh, port or allied port that I that that I can go to and make contact with the elven imperial navy. Mm -hmm. Might want to just ask that straight first, like, because that's where that's, they want to go. True. That's where they're gonna want to go, and uh -uh. that is gonna be where they're gonna recommend you go because it's like, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. it, 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 it's it's very See, much I... like they. Sorry, want... I thought Linalia said that the flat world was uh, supposed to be uh, run by the Elven Navy. Uh, he said that there's groundling elves there. 
Uh, he right, would also so have indicated that there that there is a, uh, uh, as far as he's aware, there there should be an Elven Imperial Navy outpost there. What well, what was your first? Because I I got lost. Because I'm trying to write and rememberize everything. What well, what were you? How basically, you basically, if you want to confirm, like, just say, does the Flat World contain an Elven Imperial Navy port that we can land at? Yeah, yeah. Ah, instead yeah. of just friendly port. Does the flat world contain a friendly? You can just ask them. Uh... Yeah. It's just easier for me to remember. Uh... You might as well ask that now, unless there's a time thing on you. I mean, yeah. Yeah, they, they have to be build. one after the after the other. The data's yeah. not going to wait around. <laughs> Okay. Or you get in trouble or just ignores you. I don't know. I guess. I mean, I, edited is. I I will. I'm also not like if if you're if you get to a point where I'm like I'm I've asked all the questions. Anyone else have a question that they want to ask? And someone is like, ask this, and so you say, go ahead and do so. I, I go ahead and do so. Yeah, that's fine too. All right, I'll go through the four questions you see in the group chat. Okay, so you're ready to cast your spell then. Uh, yeah, I also need to change my spell. <laughs> but yeah, I can just change that one out for the moment. Okay. Alright, uh, well, okay, so so this is going to be after changing the spell so you get this back. Um, let me ask, uh... uh Solus three needs fast. to be tweaked. Uh, yes. Um... Would you have cast uh, uh, Contact Home Power, or would you have tried to pray to the local god? Well, uh, I would have tried to pray it and see see if it's close enough to Ogma's uh, ethos. Okay. Um, so you you pray, hoping to get uh, spells from the allied uh, deity, and mm -hmm. you have a distinct sense of disdain coming from your request and you'd realize it's because you're so physically weak nah. <laughs> the oh, deity we, is yeah. allied not because of uh, knowledge but because Ogma is also a, uh, a deity of uh, uh, wrestling yeah I thought uh, I remember seeing that well, then <laughs> I will have to use the contact home power or hit the gym. <laughs> yeah, no, just, just. Yeah, I would, uh, I would need a few manuals of. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, the one that gave strength. Wand. Uh, it's not bodily health. I can't remember what it is offhand. Can yeah. we? Are we allowed to get something physique, allowed... isn't it? Are we allowed to get know. Solus to do press ups with books balanced on his back? <laughs> Book ops yeah, doesn't doesn't work yeah. in. Uh... <laughs> All right, so um, you ready to uh, ask questions? Yeah, perhaps, and you'll just say yes or no, or it'll give a different. There is no war. Uh, don't either... worry. I, again, again, like I I know what your intention is. I will I will take that into account. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm asking those questions. All right, so yeah. first question. Uh, does the flat world contain a friendly Elven Imperial? A friendly, a friendly port that the Elven Imperial Navy can land in. I should have remembered that one. Friendly Elven Imperial Navy outpost. That yeah, there you go. Uh, yes. All right, that answers that. Question two: Is this sphere engaged in an ongoing war that involves the Elven Imperial Navy? Yes. Are the Elven Imperial Navy winning or losing this war? Stalemate. Oh. Can my companion, Level Lafana, find information about herself in this sphere? Possibly. That's a raised eyebrows. Uh, yeah, that's a good suggestion you would um all right does the elven imperial navy in this sphere know the routes back to brow space yes and uh 
Linellius and Glau will have some information about that because they've been conversing. Yeah. All right, that's good. Um, uh, I don't think I have any specific... Any of the party got anything that I might have thought of? Otherwise, I guess that's it. Um, are there... Are there any Elfin Imperial nations, locations where we could maybe rescue them? What? Sorry? I, is, there, I miss... is there an Imperial Elven Navy uh, base or ship that needs assistance? Possibly. It wouldn't be able... No, yeah. I just meant, could we help with the war? Yeah. I mean, if if the question is, can you help the war, then the answer is going to be yes. Yeah, but I, I mean... <laughs> but that's, that's seven. Yeah. yeah. You're missing a calling on being a priest there, Braxton, or you know how difficult this is. Uh... Uh, are there mind flares in this sphere? Illifids. Yes. Are there Neogi in this sphere? Yes. And that's uh, all your questions. Oh, uh, that's good. Let's see there. Neogi or Mind Flayers or both? Mind that's you, the way really... that you ask that question, um, if there's one Illithid or one Neogi in this sphere. Oh. Uh -huh. There might be a slight chuckle from Aravad. <laughs> the way I worded that. I only thought of it because I know that reputable slave is like, yep. yeah. Wow. Oh. All right. Well, yeah, you so know that I... there's one Neogi and one Illithid, at least. At least in this. At scale. least, oh, yep. you can... <clears throat> And that's right at this moment. Mm. Yeah, they might Could be, be a ship passing through. <laughs> yeah, so I... Sorry. Hang on one second. That's fine. Uh, so, Linellius and Glau would uh, um, have some information for you. They don't know where the portals are. But they have, uh, they've been, they've been talking and, and checking over your charts and everything like that, and um, they know of two ways out of this sphere. Now they don't know where they are. That is something that you would have mm -hmm. to find your own, find yourself. Uh, but they do know of two spheres that you can get to that you would, that both of, that that, like most of you would be uh, aware of. Uh, Sir Light, who's who do you want to give that uh, re-roll to? Uh, while I pull you guys over to the Phlogiston chart. Uh, when the, when uh, Glau and uh, Lanelius mentioned that the Solas would ask if it, uh, if they know if the the Phlogiston River to one of those spheres is emerald colored. They don't know anything about it. They they okay, just know yeah. that that um, this sphere connects up to other spheres, and it's like part mm -hmm. of it is is Linellius talking like can like Gloud isn't aware of this sphere. He's just a navigator, and so he's very familiar okay. with uh, uh, how to find things and stuff like that. Well, yeah. then, but Glau then, is uh, aware of both of the spheres that this one connects to. Well, then Solas would uh, recommend still going through with the uh, Phallus. Uh, Guidance. Uh, so, what this is going to mean is that. Uh, uh, so, I brought you over to the sphere chart because uh, now this is going to mean mm -hmm. that uh, all the spheres that you've been to now get to be revealed. Way. Way. Oh. That's... Whoa. Oh, we're all the way down now. Oh, we're close to winter space. Mm uh hmm. -huh. Oh, yeah. Or prime space or panopus space, uh, depending on uh, where the rivers take us. It's definitely Wait, not Panopus space. Wasn't Panopus space, space that Rager yeah, space? Yeah, it's definitely not Panopus space. All right, so this, is, this is the, the route that you've uh, uh, been. So they know that it connects to uh, prime space, which you could then go to path space and get to brawl space. Uh, yeah. Or. <coughs> Red Eyes. Red Eyes is oh, well known. Wow. It's a dangerous sphere, but it is just one 
sphere away. Um, yeah. So it would be faster uh, route to Brawl Space. So that dragon wasn't lying then. And I thought he was. You just showed us another Floodstone River. Yep. So I see that was a goof. It's that doesn't matter. It's uh, a sphere that. Uh, it's a known sphere, but it's not one that you've been to. Haven't had any reason to go to. So. Boop. Yeah. There we go. Ping. So, uh, Red Eyes uh, does have uh, connections to uh, Elithid Spheres and uh, to um, Beholder Spheres. Um, there's a lot of uh, danger there. Um, and you guys would be aware of a, a bit of a, a rite of passage that some uh, adventuring companies and mercenary companies and stuff like that uh, will do where they will re require someone who wants to join their company uh, has to go to Red Eyes and uh, get one of the famed space sturges that uh, infest the sphere. Right. Uh, Solas would uh, assist now we know which sphere is it this connects to, to Solas asks if the if Glau or Lanelius know about the uh, next uh, part would, which would have been uh, uh, the lead you to eyes glowing in the dark uh, and from there uh, more of the lion yeah so the fire. uh the eyes glowing in the dark um Glau will, will tell you that, yeah. that he's pretty sure refers to red eyes, which has it's it's a pair of uh, fire worlds orbiting each other at the center of the sphere. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot right, of outposts uh... there. There's a lot of danger. There's a, a lot of uh, pirates and reavers and stuff like that because it's a very well known crossroads. It has a lot of other connections. Yeah, yeah. I thought that might be red eyes, but I didn't know. If... Brax and new red eyes. Well, as always, would say that the uh, red eyes route, while riskier, it would get us home faster, and it is the route that Fall gave us. Yeah, it would definitely be faster. And it might not be. The, there might be a reason why Fall gave us that road route instead of prime space through prime, prime space and path space. Yeah, the foul gave us the fastest route. Yeah, so, uh, Fall if... gave us fastest route to known spheres. Yeah, but this would be fastest route to Brawl. Yeah, if well, we, it, uh... might have, it might have. Uh, like, it, it, it's kind of a six of one, half dozen of the other. So, yeah, if we go to this flat world and we find out that something really dangerous is happening on Brawl, maybe we have to go the quickest route. Otherwise, uh, we can we can take the slower route. The slow yeah. route also could get us to Grey Space if we wanted to take Linalius home. Uh, that would be quite a. That would be big... way out of. Out of. Yeah, we would have to go again through the screen space and. Yeah. And that would be like a year's travel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you ha do remember that our crew has been. Uh, this voyage has been uh, quite long already. I know. I know. Well, now so... we're. Now we're almost back in the nose sphere. Some of them might get off at prime space or path space. I mean, once if... we get to brawl space, I might... Well, depending on what happens with the company, I might take some leave from the company and go to realm space. If and I most... could go part way with Lanelius before he goes back to grey space. If... Most people want to go through red eyes, and maybe we'll go through red eyes. But uh, we'll deal with this fear for us, I think. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so also, um, Anghamarand has given uh, a reroll to Finn and Braxen. Sir Light has given a reroll to Solus. Oh, Yay. thank you. Thanks All for right. the reroll. So thank now you that you guys uh, know the routes. Um, so yeah, I mean, to find the way out of the sphere, you'll have to get to a uh, a port that you can uh, put into anyway. Um, so with that, uh, go ahead. Um, the uh, Star Acorn is going to take its leave of you. Um, mm -hmm. uh -huh. They take on a lot of food from the... Uh, 
they got enough. The yeah, they have enough. The the like the, since they had no idea how long the trip was going to be, um, they they kind of went nuts and and filled up their cargo holds with food to kind of like make yeah, sure. Yeah, tried to <laughs> avoid the dragon. He's very angry with us. Well, hopefully they will be able to. Um, so the star acorn <laughs> that would be fun. will uh will take their leave of you at this point. Um, heading back towards the uh, the crystal shell and into the phlogiston. Hopefully the uh, the pirates uh, will be avoidable. Laughter offers a prayer to the Elven Saldaran in general, yeah. just in general. Shola so, so, so offers a prayer to Ogma for their safe travels. All right. Yeah. Braxton will pray for them as well. All right. So they they head out uh, uh, parting with your company. Um, the captain of the Gilt Feather will um, say that given the information that you got from the uh, commune, from uh, the message from the gods is kind of how they, they would put it. Um, yeah. They would request going to the uh, the outermost planet, the flat world. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Yep. That's what, that's what Braxton wanted to do. Okay. All right. So, um, so that was one day that you guys spent uh, here uh, preparing for that uh, spell and everything like that. Uh, old. Mm -hmm. Can we say that that was the day when uh, Solas would have uh, changed, exchanged the spells with that uh, Elven Mage? Yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, so, are you going to use so... contact tone power? Was this one day in the floods in the sphere? Yes. Oh, no would that have sufficiently uh, disrupted my spell research? Because no. I would have been preparing the whole thing. No, it would not. Right. Um, and so, like the and, and kind of like the rest of the day would be spent uh, uh, getting everything ready for the uh, uh, Star Acorn to leave and everything like that, transferring uh, cargo and, and yeah. things like that. So it seems like if we're encountering slavers, it might behoove us to. Well, if they're mind flares, they tend to paralyze. I'm just thinking. Oh, I don't exactly yeah. like fighting mind flares. I mean, oh, they use, love you, Solus. I will use reroll for the chance to learn spell, even though it's pretty high. Okay. Did so you know always fail? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, both of them succeed. All right. So you do get a uh, create portal. Yeah. Just need to roll the. Number of pages. That was a good call. Neogia found a poison, right? And their amber hooks for confusion. So... I mean, they po they they have a poisonous bite. Yeah. yeah seven pages. No, I'm mm -hmm. just changing my spells up appropriate mm -hmm. for that kind of scenario. Congrats, Soleva. Is the only one still needing to research? Uh, I also need to research. That was for the exchanging spells with the Elven Wizard. Yeah, oh, okay. So that was that was a a day of no research for you. Souls. Yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. But it's important spell. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um. You can. Uh... Go ahead and begin to get underway. So each block out here uh, is uh, four days. I'm still seeing the Flotsam map. Oh, whoops. Did I, I forgot to drag you guys back. My bad. My mistake. Sorry. There we go. I moved myself. I forgot to move you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. We are we're here. And yep. we need to go there. Yep. Right. So, okay. I guess we'll go in one. All right. Uh, so four days pass. Um, continuing uh, research. I also... Yeah, my research is finished. Yeah, mine will make another check as well. All right. That puts yeah. me one day over into the next week. If I fail this one. I got 49 for mine. I'll run mine.
Nope, oh, another <laughs> week for me. <laughs> oh. Oh, 49 going to 59. Yeah, so let's see. One out of seven. I just need to remind myself of the formula. Okay. Uh, is there anything anyone else is uh, going to be doing on those uh, four days? Um, I'm not sure if it's a month since Braxton did the full ship inspection. I don't think it has been. Okay. We will want to make sure we're not um, dragging anything like scabbers and stuff before we land. Yeah. Uh, Finn, anything in particular that you're doing now that you're uh, back in a uh, crystal sphere? Um, no, not Some really anything rainbows. specific. Okay. Oops. Sorry oh. about that. And oh, indeed, wow. uh, some, you. yeah, yes, Braxton. When we docked with the two elven ships, I did say at the time she so might say no. Um, could we have got our um, Hawaii to clean up their air? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, and, and yeah, Solarian, Leva, Ocker, and Laftal get some re rolls. Neat. There we go. All right. Okay, so. And Ocker, uh, anything that you are doing, uh, getting back in now that you're in a uh, crystal sphere? Uh. Maintain equipment, training of ammo. Okay. Not much different than what I was doing before. Okay. My chance of succeeding is 36. Alright. So, not on the first week. Okay. Alright. So, you can go ahead and uh, move forward another uh, block. And four more days will pass. So this is uh, how many days into the sphere? Nine. Eight. Oh yeah, nine, sorry. And one of those... Okay, I need one more day to roll again. I need two more. Okay. Anyone uh, doing anything in particular? Uh... Uh, during those days, I would also recharge my Wand of Fire and Wand of Lightning once both. Okay. Is there a, uh, hmm. a chance to fail on that? Uh, no, not on the recharge. If I were... Uh, if I were uh, switching charges from item to item, then there would be a chance to fail. Okay. Oh, you can Isn't recharge. there a thing if yeah. you overcharge? Yeah, but those are not overcharged. You can Leather recharge will... your... Go on. Lever will ask you whether you can recharge a wand of magic missiles. I can, but not not on the day I use... It, it takes one fourth level spell to put one charge into the wands. Oh, that's okay. So, Let us do it. Wait, you, do you just just so we don't forget, she has uh, five charges left on it. So the wand of fire and the wand of what? Wand, wand of lightning. lightning. No, oh no, no, sorry. Wand of fire and wand of lightning. Okay. One charge for both of those. And so, the ne next day, Solas would charge wand of magic missiles for Leva twice. So. Thank you. If if Solus can charge ones of uh, lightning, can he charge glitter tines yet? Uh, glitter tines couldn't be cha uh, charged. Oh, mm. okay, fair enough. I thought it could be charged. It just needed chain lightning. I think I remember all saying that it can't be charged. Yes, I remember the same. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Probably All right. worth getting that identified again, Braxton, to see if it still has any charge. I mean, yeah. we have the slate you could use. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. the point. Put it on the slate, see what happens. Do you want to I do should that? have asked. I should have asked left or to off the gods. Yeah, let's put it on the slate, see what the slate says. 
All right, hold on. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. I could have asked my god if does my wonderful wonder have more than 10 charges left or 10 uses left. I don't mm. think my DC would let me have that kind of information considering its nature. Your god would now sell us probably. Shall I move or wait till we've Wait, I'm I'm looking Wait, at something else. Yeah. Um, so I I need to decide uh what category this falls under and stuff like that. Yeah. Do I'm a plow charging? Question: If someone fail, I know you've been quite generous on the uh, save versus immediate death on poison. Slow and hold won't do anything for that. It has to be neutralized poison because, in theory, they should already be dead. Slow and hold poison prevent it from having an effect until the uh, spell expires. Essentially. Yeah. So, so what? They would be it. unconscious and stay unconscious. No, they'd be alive. So it would work. So I'm just yeah. wondering if it would work on things that should, in theory, kill you straight away. Because you've just been generous about that. Uh, I'm not seeing anything in my description about uh, that it reveals charges. It gives you command words. It doesn't give you charges. Yeah, but like... we could uh, see if there's anything we haven't been able to identify about it. Then you, you could don't. learn if it ha still has a current ability to sap a thing of lightning, or has that disappeared? You, you generally know it. when something has no charges left. I mean, like loses it, luster or something. Something ha something tends to happen. It's it's pretty obvious when when something runs out of charges. The the only time that you might have a that you really might have an issue is if something like you want to use a uh, something that requires multiple charges and it doesn't have enough charges. That's when it will just not do something. So, um, yeah, no, that does not give you charges. But does it reveal anything we don't know about the item? It does not. You fully identified glitter times. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you can move uh, forward now. Yay. Okay, Twelve. four more days pass. Anything uh, anyone else uh, is doing? Yeah, I need to make another check on my spell. Okay. Uh, yeah. This time it uh, it's a forty six that I need. Oh yeah, this is when this is when we'd have been <sighs> Yeah, join the club, Solus. One more <laughs> week. Uh I need a uh, fifty nine. I think Leva should have also reached. Yay! Alright, Leva, you I mean uh Laftal, you have completed your uh your spell? Yeah, I can do polymorph self now. After has animal well forms shape shifting limited. Right. That's gonna be so much fun for me. How are you doing, Lava? On yours? Uh, she has twenty more days. She's now at fifty day fifty. Ah. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah. Yes, that is uh, twenty more days. That's uh, that's quite a bit. She's not looking jealously towards the others at all. No, no, no. Hey, she, she I would never do anything like that. I took an extra three weeks to blow my spell. Was it? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> well, it's going to be second extra week for me. Oh, Laftal's totally going to uh, use his polymorph self at some point to pretend to be the dragon just to annoy Lever. <laughs> 
All right. I can see this ending so well for me. And thus, Laftel was thrown overboard and never heard from again. <laughs> Probably. Uh, yes, 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 definitely. And don't forget uh, the spell that she actually is researching. We were researching Wall of Force. Is that what you're researching? I, I can't remember at this point. I yes, forgot. it is. It is? Okay. But you know, it has interesting applications. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's it's a it's yeah, a great it's spell. Incredibly useful. Okay, so um, uh, uh, is there anything anyone else is uh, doing in particular during those four days? Uh, I have two days. How long? How one two, Yeah, I'm not going to try another spell research in this distance. No, you there's you don't you do not. Have no, to I was thinking of a second level spell, but even though it's still yeah, four weeks. Yeah, unless you have a, a scroll of it or something. All right. Um, you can go ahead and uh, move the ship another uh, another block. I I'll figure this out as, uh, after game, but I will be cutting amber pieces, mm -hmm. whatever I can. Okay, so I get another try. I will keep a running total of how many days I have. It, the the ship I didn't actually really... get moved though. Ah. You can keep that eleven. Oh. Just. But the ship yeah. needs to be moved. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. So we're 16 days now. Yep. Plus uh, the initial one. And a... Uh, so that will... Uh, the first day of that uh, will end with the uh, end of a pay period. No. And this is for the page number. So get the... Uh, let me know if that, that gets uh, taken care of. At least mark down that you're going to do the calculation. You can do the calculation later if you want. That's fine. Uh, Finn, do you have that noted? Yep, noted. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, somebody... I'm... Sorry, go on. Somebody in our chat, I think it was Sola, suggested we do the ship inspections at the same time as the Yeah, I'm doing my luxury. good bros. We do. We also need to do that, supposedly, the commune thing, because back on Brawl, we're going to try and tie that in every month as well. The sending. Yeah, sorry, sending. Yeah, I mean, now so, that you're, you're keep in our a. Keep clerk on the payroll. <laughs> now that you're in a sphere, uh, you can actually tell them what sphere you're in, and that can give them an mm. idea of roughly how long it'll be until you get back, so. Yeah, yeah we, we can tell them that we are actually know, know, know that where, where we actually are and how many jumps home we need to take. Do we know where we actually are? Yes. Yep. Yes. Let's just hope we don't get caught in another cosmic storm. Don't change right, that. down, have another cosmic storm appear in the next session. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> We're definitely lost in space until we hit level 20. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, once you're lost in space, and you can never find your way home, right? Right? Um, I mean, they made, a, they made an entire TV show about it the last of several seasons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could do that, too. Well, we've already done it. Uh, Braxton. Don't forget, we're still uh, we're still looking for the person who actually sent us on this trip. Yeah, that's true. But well, no. they would be in Crin space. Oh, they would be anywhere now. Yeah, yeah they think most likely they have anywhere left Crin space. But it is like clean up. We need to chase up. Now, I think it's it's been substantially le like I, I think it's only been like a year and a half or like a year and two thirds since uh, that happened because. Uh, it's been uh, a bit over two years since you left Brawl to go to Crin Space. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, yeah, that reminds me. You did say after one of our sessions recently that we should all mark up as a uh, year older. Yeah, did um, you did? Yeah, but uh, that was a little while ago. Um, yeah. you, you're coming up. Already. You're coming up on another year. Uh, but mm -hmm. no. that's still a uh you trying to push hey thank you for you two more rerolls there salarian oh my You've given them <laughs> 10 now 
<laughs> you realize he already has eight. Now he has ten. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, yeah. That's, yeah. that's that's just so, that's, that's so, hey, hey, right. But see, you have to understand. Old can use for uh, NPCs. Y you have to understand. So? Uh, Dracophile said that uh, um, I should have ten less. So Solarian's just trying to get me back to where I should be. Yeah, yeah. Stop uh -huh. complaining. Uh -huh. Solarian will give old more. Rerolls. Also, also, do remember that all can use those rerolls for our NPC friends. That's true. Uh, uh, and laugh will no humanoid. Uh, Neogi are not humanoids. They're insectoids. Uh, oh. They're they're spider-like monsters. Yes. They're not humanoids. Three calls them aberrations. I don't think two. Yeah, no, got there's a no such thing as aberration. And but. That's also uh, like uh... so. Certain spells that work on humanoids won't work on them. That's so. right. There's, there's That's only it's only it's only uh, person and monster essentially. Um, yeah. uh, and Sir Light, I'm going to uh, reject that because that is for a specific uh, situation when when <laughs> the players are in fights and stuff like that. Um. All right, so um, let's see. Ocker, um, you're continuing to like do the basic training with uh, Beowulf, correct? Ocker? You're muted. Yeah, if you're talking, you're muted. James? Uh, he might have stepped away. Um, all right, well. That can happen later, I guess. All right, um, you can go ahead and uh, move your ship. Okay. No, Solas has something that he needs to do now that he's uh, actually in Crystal Sphere. Okay. He needs to prepare some glue. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, just glue that rebind, book your, rebind that that book. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Instead of doing jam cutting, I need to be doing scroll uh, making before my spat my components will rot away. Do I need to roll for? Uh... No, I think uh, uh, repair. you can you can get the uh, uh, book repaired by the time you get to the uh, the earth world um okay it, i will also repair the it's just it, it's it's I, a pretty routine thing for you i i will also repair the book that uh, the dragon threw at me that uh, fell on the ground and uh, got bit damaged okay and uh, pray for forgiveness to this uh, great scene from ogma all right uh laftal um what uh what scrolls did you need to work on What were you saying about working on a scroll? Oh, sorry, I was muted. Uh, yeah, Cure Modder means I can make five such castings on two scrolls. Okay. Uh, but uh, one second, I've got like six days that I that would have gone up to ten days. I was just keeping track on my gem cutting after I finished spell research. I got ten days spare if this week is now going to pass. I mean, we can handle that uh, after the session if you want. Yeah, no, I'm just keeping track of days at the moment. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so after the session, uh, we can we can handle... Uh, some of it will be on scrolls, some of it will be on gem cutting. Well, and, so and just... like, you can also prepare the ink, and, and that will keep for a few days as well. So you can, like, do the mm -hmm. pre ink preparation, and then uh, we can do the actual scroll writing later, a little bit later. Like right. the next time you're actually traveling. Wow. I'm not too concerned if it's uh just just for ease of, of gameplay. I'm I'm fine with it right now. I'm not as too long concerned as, about as that. As long as there's no half mo half year uh, delay. Well, not even that, but like as long as there isn't like a month delay. Yeah, um, there's a lot of things I'm trying to keep track of right now. Yeah. Mm. 
All right, because I'm also supposed to be doing the good berries as well. Um, well, but the good berries are... are... Oh, would How you... many days? Because I do it every time we do a pay period. How right, so that, that happened. We? So we, we just had one pass. Do yeah, I know. That's that? what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, how far? How many? Where well, one? Yeah, so this should last. So I am going to use the full roster and keep them for the okay. last 10 days. Okay. Or my um, own, anyway. Can you cast that spell that stops things rotting on good berries? No. No. Okay. <clears throat> they just last longer with more time that I get. I need to check. Titty full power. Sorry, I don't keep the formula on top of it. I'm keeping track of so many things. Uh, Titty full power, six spells. How long did so, they last? Ten days. So on the tenth day, if we haven't have any used for use for yeah, give we could use food. them as a, yeah. So I got fairy. There's enough for Finn if he chooses to do. That's why we doubled up on the bushes. Uh, Finn, did you want to create some good berries as well? I'm not sure if he's currently. He did step or... away from keyboard. I think okay. he said he can hear now. When he gets back in, then he can roll if he wants to. Yeah. Uh, is there uh, harvestable uh, herbs for the healers kit? Yeah, they they're in the same. Yeah. yeah Every so month you I can get resupply, more. resupply my healers kit. Finn's back. All right, Finn. Uh, did you want to cast uh, Goodberry as well? Uh sure. We can do that. Let's see, that's second level, right? Mm -hmm. So I can actually cast six of those. Nice. Yeah, and the only reason I'm getting six is because of my ring. All right, 27. Okay. All right, so uh, you can keep uh, keep hold of those and then uh, add the, that to uh, your food stocks uh, if it doesn't look like you're going to use them before they run out kind of thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, anything uh, anyone else wants to do? You are just a few days away from uh, the flat world. <clears throat> well, Braxton's going to be taking loads of notes to try and improve on his... Uh... Wild space navigation okay. that he doesn't have yet. Uh, Solas would ask uh, if Finn is uh, uh, ready to help him uh, at some point once we find a uh, planet with oaks. So what is it that you uh, need? I need uh, ones made out of a 100 year old oak tree. We can probably find you one. For spelling ingredients. Okay. Um, all right, so uh, you can advance another uh, block and get to the planet. Yay. Four days into the good berries. Yep. Uh, it would be more than four days. Uh, actually, yeah, since you, want, you specifically were casting it on the day that uh, you do the pay period? Yes. Okay, yeah. so then... Um, would they have expired? They would have expired before the right. uh, get to the planet. So, just add uh, fifty-seven to your food stores. Fifty-seven. Oh, we, we use them yeah. all for food. Yeah. Yeah, because they lose their magic. Okay. Yeah, and I would uh, I would be using the fish for uh, topping of our water supply, so sixty gallons each day. Is that? 57 for both uh, Finn and Lattel. No, it's total. Yeah. Yeah, yeah is, is that for both From of them? From both of us. From yeah. both of them, but it's total. It's not like it's just 57. It's not like 57 times 2. It's the yeah, 30 I and the 27 30. added together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what I meant. Sorry. All right. Uh, so you are, you drop out of spell jamming speed. Question. Yeah? How many days did it take us to get to the planet on this last jump, this last four day block? It's just four days to move into a block. Oh, right. At the planet, so. 
so I got 14 days of sorry I'm just making sure I got the right number all right uh, so you are uh, you drop out of uh, spell jamming speed uh, approaching mm -hmm. the flat world uh, you can see orbiting it a moon uh, it is a, a small air world uh, there are it's it's blue and white uh, like blue skies with uh, fluffy white clouds large fluffy white clouds uh, floating through it you see nothing else of note on that uh, air world the moon um, mm -hmm. but you can see the flat world itself is a disk with uh, various hills and mountains and some small seas but just completely covered in forests like all the flat land almost all the flat land right. that you can see covered in forests um, on both sides the as you're approaching you can tell that um, the one side arbitrarily the top side uh, mm. has more rolling hills while the other side has like rugged mountains covered in forests And uh, as you are uh, approaching an elven vessel... Uh, yeah, I was going to say we were going to look for one. We don't, a, we don't now. ...approach you. It's a, it's a smaller elven vessel um, flying the uh, flag of the elven imperial navy. Um, it's a actually a... Uh, it'd be a Shrike ship. Um, yeah. And it uh, begins signaling you to ask your your intentions. The uh, guilt feather is uh, a bit far behind you. Um, yeah. But it will be approaching as. But since you're in the lead, they see you first, and they're signaling you. Yeah, uh, Brax. I guess we should tell them that we're escorting Elven Navy ships. Yeah, that's what that's what one ship. Uh, th Brax is going to signal. Uh, this is. The hilt, uh, escort in a lost elven ship to make contact with the elven navy, requesting uh, information on nearest elven navy port. Uh, they signal back, um, appreciate your efforts on the uh, part of the elven imperial navy. Uh, have just spotted Elven Vessel, we'll uh, converse with them separately. Please dock at... And they, they send you a name that you haven't heard of, but uh, you realize that this is a, a, a town of some sort. Uh, Seraldar, um, indicating that it is uh, close to you on the very edge of the flat world. Okay. We'll wait for them to have a chat with the uh, other Elven ship. <clears throat> All right. Um, they do, and they signal back to you that uh, um, uh, Guilt Feather will be uh, docking at the um, Elven Imperial Navy. There's a, a public, essentially, there's a, a public port and a um, private Navy port. Yeah. Port. Um, but they're right, basically, right next to each other. Right, okay. Should we say that Brax and tell them that we have an Elven Imperial Navy officer that will... You know, uh, before you yeah. do that, they will they will signal uh, that uh, you should check in with the um, Elven Imperial Navy uh, officers when you get there to give a briefing, to give a, uh, a report. Okay, we'll do that when we get down. Like this is this is this ship is clearly a like a patrol vessel watching for ships coming yeah. in and stuff like that. So they, <coughs> yeah, mean, like that's, that's I mean not we've their we've done huge ser service to Elven Imperial Navy just just with this trip. So of course they would want to hear from it. Yeah, well, um, they want to set up proper communication lines and stuff. Yeah, we should probably head down to where they want us to dock. Okay. Could we get 
where that is from the message is that enough for the yes yes it would give you detailed okay. instructions on, on where yeah sure yeah okay we'll head down then i guess so we'll be like 10 15 minutes walk from the elven ship when we land uh it would be a little bit further so you approach the uh the edge of the world and you can see that uh, um they have docks along the uh, gravity plane um, oh, cool! And you can see That's that awesome. there is a docking cavern uh, as well uh, that is segregated and clearly defended, and that is where yeah. Guilt Feather uh, heads. But yeah. can we see four elephants under the flat world? No, there are no four <laughs> elephants under the, this this flat world. No, there, the, there's other just ones. Mountains. There's other ones. Besides, yeah, the the mountains would be uh, really pokey on the poor elephants' backs. It's, it'd be very rude. Um. So you well that's, well, that's why they get to rest on top of a giant turtle. Yeah, but that's on their that's their feet. That's not their back. Would you want to live forever with uh, uh, mountains sticking into your back? No, no, it's wouldn't. Work. Yeah, okay. So uh, Braxton will signal towards the people that deal with landing birth, saying we've been requested by the Elven Navy to land somewhere where we can talk to a representative. So they they direct you into a berth. Uh, you can see that uh, um, the city itself primarily appears to rest up on the surface of the flat world. Um, right. But you can also see going up the side. You can see what appears to be like windows or and balconies and things like that. So there's clearly some uh, settlement within the the stone face going up there uh which is a few hundred feet above uh wow where the the um yeah braxton will is. call i imagine this place will is call who, to whoever's around him say look look this is this is better than brow they've wow. actually a lot got, of places are better than brow <laughs> they've got look they've managed to use the the uh stuff on the side instead of just having scavers swimming along trying to pick up food i mean brawl has stuff on the sides too it depends on the part of this yeah stone plus this is way higher than brawl like yeah. it stretches yeah, it's easier. Way, uh, up way higher than than brawl does it's easier to use uh, the sides when it's a uh, more uniform uh, surface like this uh, flat world instead of being asteroid Uh, asteroids like a small flat world. <laughs> it depends really. on the asteroid. So they, you are directed into a um, uh, into a berth, uh, and you are mm -hmm. met by a uh, representative of the uh, the Dockers Guild to uh, pay berthing fees. And I wrote yep. that down somewhere. I need to find him. Give me a second. Oh, I thought the Elven Navy might pay for us, but there, there you go. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> We're on our own mission. They're just coming along with us. I know. So I know, water, I know. Uh, water resupply will be free. Uh, there is no air tax, uh, but the docking fee is going to be. Let's see. Do, do, do. Uh, thirty-five gold. Thirty-five gold. Yeah. Is there any like dock hands around? There are absolutely longshoremen. All right, I cast no customs on them. Okay. Um, get that them all. It's far ER, so I got up to ninety yeah, that's feet fine. away. That's fine. Yep, I got it. Brilliant. Thanks. Um, and it will be further a five gold piece uh charge per day. Oh right. Okay. Uh, while you remain in. All right. I think we should give our crew some shore leave. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, at the moment, we're guarded like an unknown thing. I want to get too carried away until we smooth things over. Yeah, I mean, you should wait at least a day to figure out what's going on before you yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. Hey, yeah. all right, after, everyone, after free. That. You're free. Go yeah. do what you want. <laughs> we're under attack. They're clearly trying to infiltrate us. <laughs> Uh, so you can see here down at the, uh, the docks, um, uh, a smattering of humans, uh, a few more dwarves, 
uh, smattering of gnomes and halflings uh, and uh, even a minotaur or two, uh, as well as uh, quite a few elves. Mm -hmm. uh, Laughter, I'm fine with you getting no customs, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna roll. Right, yeah, there's, there's, there's still a twenty. I think that's fine. That's fine. All right, I'll roll. Fine, since you want me to roll. You can use a reroll. <laughs> yeah, I could. I could re use a reroll. Uh, he got a four, so, so uh, no, he failed. All right. Uh, so after paying that to the uh, um, uh, Dockers Guild uh, worker says. Um, he has some quick questions, you know, asking if you're carrying any cargo, do you have anything to declare, that kind of thing. You give the formulaic uh, answers. Um, and then you'd ask him about uh, visiting the Elven Imperial Navy? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the uh, it, This dock worker will be a, a human, and he says, uh, yes, uh, there's a... Uh, there's an office uh, by the entrance to the Elven Imperial Navy uh, docking cavern. Uh, it gives you some basic directions. Um, they'll probably direct you up to the surface if you have more important things to discuss than just simple questions. Uh, Solas would ask the name of the planet. Oh, the planet itself. Uh, it's Linathar. I'll go ahead and... Uh, thank you. Get that... As a side note, I, I think I missed it. What was the name of the sphere we're in again? Talarn Space. And that's one of the ones we know about. Okay. Wait, it's not one that you guys knew about, it's one that Linnellius knew about. I'll okay. take that in. And Glau had uh, some information. I'll type that in. That is actually the name of the second world in the system as well, Talarn. Uh, so it's Considering the distance it is from Gray Space, according to our, you know, overmap or whatever you want to call that, this must be really like fringe edge space, well, fringe like uh, knowledge for him. Yeah, I mean, like that's why he doesn't have a whole lot of information about it. But it's like, I mean, he knows about it because uh, resources were shifted. You could even like, you know. Maybe that's one reason why uh, Red Njord was able to attack his uh, the the base that he was on. Maybe they shifted resources away from it. Mm -hmm. He hasn't given you mm -hmm. that information, but that's the kind of thing that you know you'd be like, oh, I wonder if that might be why. Like he he would tell you that that uh, he he's aware of it because they've been doing some uh, resource shifting to uh, deal with the, <coughs> the the crisis here, kind of thing. Is kind of how he would put it. So Solas would also ask the longshoreman if he's uh, uh, friendly enough to tell us the names of other worlds here, since we are new to the sphere. Well, uh, I don't have a, a chart right now. Um, you can purchase one, uh, and I unfortunately don't really have time to, to do that right now. Uh, I'll, ask him if... cool. I'll ask him if there are any places where I could possibly get a spyglass prepared. Uh, yeah, there's uh, plenty of uh, shops. Uh, I probably want to visit a gnome. He'll give you a a, a name of a, a gnomish uh, uh, what would it be? Uh, like a, a gnomish artificer type type person uh, who uh, works with uh, various devices. Um, mostly you know, like ballistas and stuff like that, but has some other machinery and, and uh, as far as he knows, uh, does some uh, things with optics. Are they rare or common artifices? Cause that's so I'm, I'm be, using uh... it generically, not as a class. All right. Uh, is it uh, Tinker Gnome or Normal Gnome? It's a Normal Gnome. It's a Rock Gnome. <laughs> you, would, you would be able to pick that up from the name. Yeah. Uh, Braxton would ask, where where there's a good place for buying charts, um, uh, so he'll he'll give you a uh, um uh, he'll, he'll basic suggest, directions. Or... Well, he'll he'll point out where the uh, main lower marketplace down here is, and says that you know a lot of the common stuff that you'll need for your ship can be found uh, there. Thank you. 
and anything else, uh, there is a, a an office uh, near the docks that can have more information if you need more specific directions. Yeah, I'll Brett's will ask where the, the office is, and and then thank him. I mean, he's because he's, uh, he's got other things that he needs to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, oh, we got to do our uh, spell component thing as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, you'll have time, so you can you can do that later if you want. So, uh, if Lunadius is on deck, um, uh, Braxton will send a message for him. Yeah, he's already on deck. Yeah, he'd okay. be coming with us, why wouldn't he? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> oh, well, he might have been resting or something. Or question to the party before we would have gone to port, um, because this is would have been fairly important. What what do we do with our um? How do we go about the fact that we got a goblin passenger going to an elven imperial navy base? Because they're not too super friendly. With that we're map. not in an elven imperial navy base at the moment. We? We're near. In a we're city. near one. No, yeah. we're in a All town right. that's right near an elven imperial navy base. We have no yeah. reason to take her to the imperial navy base. Yeah. And, and yeah. she's no, going to be no like, suspense. she's going to be like, uh, at least for now, she, you know, she'll say, at least for now, I'll, I'll stay in my quarters. All the show. Even if she is goblin, if she isn't hostile to the elves, I think they might uh, tolerate her as long as she is not going to try and infiltrate their bases. I mean, the, the Actually, thing is, is like in a, in a town, uh, generally in a town, it would be the kind of thing where where you have extreme suspicion, uh, maybe prejudice and all the other stuff. Yeah, of... stores might be like, I don't serve you here, leave, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Guards might watch her, but it's not like they would just immediately attack. Mm-hmm. That's not. Or a good act, <laughs> and there's no re- like uh, unless she has a, she's committed a crime or they they believe she's committed a crime she's not going to be arrested. So I think Braxton would knock on her door and say, "If there's anything you need uh, from the town, or if you want to, anything you want to scout out, uh, make a list. Uh, we're we're going to go off to see the elves, so we'll get that business out of the way. I'll let you know if I need anything. Okay, thank you." All right. So, um, right. Lanellius will be uh, uh, eager and happy to uh, visit the the Elven Imperial Navy uh, yeah. pretty quick. Uh, Does everyone want to go? Is there anyone that doesn't uh, want to go? I assume he's gonna have to do a solo thing first, and we. So, so well, he's gonna uh, go with you while you go oh, like right. go to the the yeah. um the outpost because he desk. doesn't know where anything is any better than you guys do. Yeah, so. yeah. So, yeah. So, 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 so Solas inquires friend uh, uh, with friendly intentions if uh, Lanilius is uh, uh, will be leaving uh, us since we've reached the uh, Eleven Imperial Navy in known spheres, or will he, he stick with us for a bit longer? He doesn't know yet. Okay. Uh, a that Braxton that'll be a mixture say... of uh, hold on that'll be a mixture of uh, what his orders are like if they give him orders they may not give him orders but they may okay. order him to stay be like hey yeah we need we need someone of your skills kind of thing um, well, so 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 Lass isn't familiar with Elven Imperial yeah. Navy to that degree so he that's why he asked yeah he can't he can't know until he talks to them though Braxton, Braxton yeah, say, yeah. well Braxton was going to say you're welcome either way. Mm-hmm. The, the same the same goes with your special spell gem in helm it's up yeah, to so... you whether you want to leave it with the elves here or or take it with you when we get to wherever you want to leave us okay so you so, yeah so so, so, so last does mention to Lanelius that if he uh, does have to leave our company Solas would want to have one more night out uh, to uh, basically Reminiscent our adventure together. Yeah, laugh will definitely be, you know. Lanellius would really appreciate that. Um, for now, he doesn't know what is uh, yeah. going to be necessary, so he can't mm. can't make any promises. Yeah, but if it was if if he has to leave and it's not uh, immediately leave kind yeah. of thing. All right, so um, you. Descend down to the docks from your uh, ship and make your way uh, into the the lower city itself. Um, 
which you can tell, like, from this part, uh, there are large tunnels, uh, and, um, there, like, there's a, 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 a large cavern that has clearly been constructed, uh, uh, mm -hmm. the, the dwarves back on your ship would have uh, noted that it was dwarven work that did it, um, and there's a there's a couple levels, uh, but there's also like a big open air, air bazaar, um, shops uh, down at the the lowest level, um, ramps leading up, and you can see some signs directing in Elvish uh, directing you towards uh, the upper city further back, but that's not mm -hmm. where you're going right now. Um, yeah, but, uh, there's, uh, quite a few, um, other, uh, like, like shops and stuff like that. Most of the stuff you're, you're seeing down here appears to cater to, uh, ships, travelers, uh, dwarves and gnomes, uh, that kind of thing. Um, and, uh, you make your way over towards, um, kind of the, the edge where you can see that there is a tunnel connecting into a docking cavern uh, with the, or you can tell that it, that it is leading to the docking cavern of the Elven Imperial Navy. Uh -huh. uh, and you find a kind of a, a checkpoint office type <laughs> complex between the two that has okay. Elven Imperial Navy uh, insignia on it. Um, you enter in uh, meet, yep. uh, meet some elves and uh, give a quick rundown on uh, what's going on. What do you What do you specifically want to tell them? Uh, Brax and I say we're we're the company of the Broken Sword. We're based in Brow Space. We were fighting pirates in Crin Space when we rescued an elf from the Imperial Elven Navy who'd been kidnapped. We then got thrown across space by a cosmic storm to an unknown crystal sphere and we've just escorted in the ship yep, you might have seen landing yeah that comes from uh, a lost elven crystal sphere that's trying to make contact with the elven navy so we've uh, we come to talk to an officer that can debrief us uh so the uh the elven representative um uh, upon you mentioning uh, the guilt feather is like, oh, so you're the ones who came with them. Yes, yes. We've gotten a uh, report from them already. Um, hold on a moment while we uh, get you a letter uh, that will get you into uh, the citadel up on the surface. Uh, please, wait a moment. And um, of course. he uh, quickly writes out uh, a, a letter uh, folds it up, seals it with uh, a wax seal, and uh, hands it to you, and says, um, uh, take this up to the surface, and then he gives you some, some directions uh, to the, uh, as he says, the, the uh, citadel. Okay. Um, uh, do we still have the reg letter of introduction from the Brawl space uh, that we yeah. you do if you, if, you, that. If, you, that with, uh, if you prefer it here then then he will say no give it to them up the up at the citadel yeah, yeah. I, I was just that we we should take it with us to the citadel no Braxton will have that the yeah. seal's been broken obviously yeah. all right uh so you make your way um further into the cavern and uh you come to a uh a series of mechanical lifts. Um, mm -hmm. And... Lift. Lift. Yep. Hey, remember with, that... Uh, with pulleys and, and stuff like that, and uh, they appear to I'll be this every day. powered by uh, minotaurs pulling on uh, ropes. Remember those lifts we saw on the uh, on the Dwarven Citadel that has got the lizard people living in? Mm -hmm. uh, that were broken. This is like the working version of that. Do yeah, they look well, similar? Really long shaft. Uh, uh, the ones in the Dwarven Citadel were, were broken and wrecked, so you really don't know. Uh, Souls... Oh, right. What I mean is the, the doors and what looks like the tunnels. Is that a similar sort of arrangement? Um, is that Elven influence or is it Dwarven or Gnomish? Or... Solus, you want to give me an engineering check? 
Yeah. All right. Uh, it's definitely Breakfast. Dwarven design. Um, whether it's similar or not, it's been a while, and uh, mm -hmm. the other system was was wrecked, and uh, you could just tell that it was a lift. You couldn't see the yeah. uh, much of the, uh, the the mechanisms or anything. So you're not yeah, sure. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did study it as best I could, but yeah, but it was in very poor shape. So yeah. Um, but this is a pretty large scale. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay. it's, um, it's run by multiple, uh, minotaurs who pull, pull on the ropes on the pulleys kind of thing. Um, uh -huh. but the way that it's, it's designed, it doesn't look like it's very difficult for them. It just takes a bunch. Yeah. The green, these are not green space minotaurs. No. So you get on, uh, and, uh. One of the Minotaur. Uh, there's some other people getting on board uh, the lift as well, and as everyone yeah. is, um, one of the Minotaurs uh, is asking everyone, you know, where they're going. Some of the other people are saying, like, you know, fourth level, third level, uh, that kind of thing. Um, and I think we are going to the top. Yeah, you say yep. you, you say yeah. you're going to the surface. Yep. Um, the Minotaur grunts and uh, they all start uh, pulling in unison. And the uh, the lift is not fast, but uh, it's pretty smooth, um, and it stops periodically to let off uh, other people, and some other people get on. Um, but after about twenty minutes, you get up to the surface, mm -hmm. and uh, it ends at an open air but covered platform. Um, that has a mixture of dwarven and elven uh, architecture. Um, very well made, very nice, uh, and uh, overall, like the the entire lift operation uh, was uh, very well maintained and very well designed, as far as you could tell. Um, Prax is going to thank the monitors. All in a day's work. And uh, yeah, Solas gives a few copper pieces uh, as a tip. Well, they're at the bottom of the... Well, actually, there'll be some at the top, I suppose. All right. That's Are that's these, fine. like, uh, Prince-style Minotaurs or normal-style Minotaurs? They're normal Minotaurs. They got feet. Isn't that right? The other ones have <clears> hooves. <throat> some some Kryn Minotaurs have hooves, some have feet. Oh. <laughs> these, these have feet. Yeah. Um... So, uh, but they they do tower over all of you, uh, all of them at least seven feet tall and uh, quite muscular. Um, as you give them uh, the uh, coppers, uh, Solus, uh, mm. he says, uh, uh, "Thanks and have a good day in the city." You too. And they, you quickly have to move out of the way to to let other people get onto the lift. However. And they have yeah. multiple lifts. You can tell that there is multiple lifts in various places. Um, mm. And you can tell that there is one specifically for, like, cargo. Uh, it was five copper pieces that I gave to them all together. All right. That's fine. Uh, and uh, you follow the uh, easy-to-follow directions to the Elven Citadel. Um, the city mm -hmm. itself, uh, like, overwhelmingly elves around you. Uh, you and it it looks pretty old. You would guess that this city was like it's it's clearly an elven city, and you'd guess that everything below it is newer, uh, more recent, yeah. like uh, um, more recent uh, uh, visitors and immigrants and stuff like that, um, and has essentially come because this city was here in the first place. Um, so built around is, it. So can we see like uh, bits of older and bits of newer? It's hard to tell with elven architecture um, because elven architecture is like always kept meticulously clean and and sparkling and true and stuff like that. Yeah. If it's if it's well maintained, and this is all well maintained. Um, does it remind me of home at all? Yes. Yeah, it does. It feels very very. Uh, 
Alpha very immediately comforting. gets homesick. <laughs> well, you might not feel homesick because it feels like home, kind of thing. Yeah, but he's missing. Even though he come from an elven sphere, he's, he's starting to realize how much he misses home. You want to go back to Realm Space one day? One day soon. I may part ways from the company for a while. I don't know. Depends what we got on the agenda. All right. Uh, so you uh, follow the uh, easy to follow directions, uh, leading you to um, a sprawling fortress complex that uh, has the banners of the Elven Imperial Navy uh, flying above it, and. You um, show the letter at the uh, at the gate, and you're quickly yeah. taken to um, uh, a um, a captain, an elven captain, uh, who is uh, offers his name as uh, Talentia Starlight. Um, Linellius uh, will part company with you to uh, speak with uh, some other uh, officers in private. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, he will quickly read over the letter that you have uh, from down below, and then the uh, the letter from Brawl. Um, and uh, you're in a you're in a comfortable meeting room, so you're able to to sit down and and uh, mm. uh, relax. And he says. Um, uh, please tell me. Uh, I, we have heard uh, and we've received a basic report from the Guild Feather already. Uh, this is uh, a great day having contact with a uh, a lost division of the Elven Imperial Navy and one that seems to be doing quite well for itself. Uh, it will be uh, very invigorating to reintegrate them into the command structure. Uh, but uh, please, uh, can you give me a report on on? Uh, what you've seen, and especially what uh, what you've learned uh, in Aracol space. In Aracol space. That's the. Is that where we found the Elven? That's the Syrian yeah. answer. I think uh, we would tell them what we see. The saw there that it was pretty orderly, and the Elven Imperial Navy was uh, had recruited a local uh, local. Aracocra yeah, yeah. and uh, Avariel to their ranks. Right, so he'll ask yeah, you some that's... various questions for clarification and, and things like that. You'll also go over mm -hmm. your uh, previous uh, travels and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I don't we'll let him know that keep... they've got um, consulates that um, require people to make some sort of sacrifice to access floods and rivers but then they the yeah, they guy make paid a, for a hundred years a, a hundred yeah. year travel yeah yeah, yeah. for the Elven imperial navy yeah but if they want to go through the sphere to other spheres they may have to pay a price uh no not if they use that uh since it was for uh, one they'll have they'll years they'll have to do the... something does, they'll have to do something it... at the other uh, uh yeah yeah, to get, only, to get... only the wounded warrior was a sacrifice, but the others you have to do some other thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, is there anything that you are choosing not to tell uh, either about any point? Because he'll he'll like once he gets information about Ericol Space, he'll ask about your other background, what what's been going on, what else do you know? Uh... I think we can't go into too much detail about like gob. Theory the cuff it up bomb in. space. Yeah, we keep. Not going. gonna go into too much detail about the space. Uh, yeah, I think we tell everything uh, relevant to Elven Imperial Navy from our encounters. Except for Catan space, because that would be relevant for them, but we don't want them causing trouble there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, after you share your information, uh, what do you want to ask? Uh, Solas would ask about uh, if uh, if they know about the green heart of the tree and the emerald path. Uh yes, he will. He will tell you that. Uh, um, uh, yes, that is a uh, uh, there is a portal in a, a constellation of a tree. Uh, 
There's a, a green star near it uh, that leads to uh, a path. I've never heard it called the Emerald Path, but it makes sense since it is green-tinged, and that leads to red eyes. Yes, that that was the root home, part of the root home we got from uh, uh, Fall, after we paid uh, paid them quite handsomely for uh, this information. Uh, is there any news out of Thrall Space? Uh, nothing relevant to the Elven Imperial Navy. Uh, we've been quite focused on our. Uh, uh, war, ongoing war, war with the Talangran Empire that is uh, taking a considerable Wait. focus uh, for our efforts. I'm not saying anything out loud, but I'm trying to recall. Is that the same people we rescued? Those humans? When? So we, we found them found drifting in drifting in the in flow. The... No, no, it's not. They're not the same. No, right. Let's make you sure. Uh, tell us about this uh, Talangarn Empire. Uh, so, as you we know uh, nothing, as you're probably aware, we uh, we've been at war with them for some time. The Talangarn Empire uh, has uh, dominated one of the continents on the planet Talarn for well millennia now. Um, they're not a particularly open society to uh, outsiders, especially elves. Uh, they've long ta used slaves for labor, uh, both from the conquered peoples that they uh, conquered on their own land. And they, uh, in particular, have a like for elven slaves. You can understand now why we might be at war with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is there anything we might uh, do to help uh, on our way home or before we leave? There might be. Um, upon your I arrival, not... there, there was some there was some ideas that we had. Uh, but uh, if if you wouldn't mind waiting here for a few minutes, I'd like to converse with my superiors. Okay. Uh, Lever has a question too. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you something when they've left. That uh, Lever tells him about her problem of finding a family and where she comes from, and she says that she has information that uh, she might get information with with people that deal with the Talangran Empire or with people from the Talangran Empire. Because uh, the way it looks like, maybe the Talangran Empire were, were the ones, or people from there were the ones who actually abducted her as a baby. Hmm. Well, uh, I don't know specifically about that, but uh, if you were uh, taken as a slave and uh, there's some connection to the Talangran Empire, then that very well could be. However, they've only had uh, access to wild space for uh, a relatively short time, at least compared to uh, elven lives. Um, we do believe that uh, there are those who have had surreptitious landings with them, slavers and the like, lithids, neogi, that sort. Uh, we don't have too many uh, solid, concrete details on that, uh, but I can definitely put in some uh, requests uh, with our uh, records uh, departments, if you wouldn't mind uh, waiting for a bit. If we can, we can get some uh, extra information from you in that case. There was, there was that she wouldn't mind at all, and uh, would he know? Where else she could get more information if uh, there if if there is a lack of in 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 their records? Well, the Talangran Empire might have more information if uh, there is a connection. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> as an elf, that would it would be un Not end well. ill advised for you to go in without there some sort of protections in advance. There are ways around that. Don't uh, this Lara sort of says don't worry about that. There are ways around that. 
Well, if you will uh, uh, hold for a short time while I speak to my superiors, uh, I'll be uh, stepping out, and uh, Private Miltia uh -huh. will uh, can answer some other questions about uh, the ongoing situation here in the sphere. If you <coughs> okay, wish. Are did, there did any you have any question? In, uh, yeah, in the there's, room, there's, by there's, the way, there's uh, there's. Uh, water, there's fruit, there's uh, some elven wine, that kind of thing. Uh, Brax, yeah, did you have a question my. before he Hello. leaves? Uh, well, the only the only thing Braxton would ask is uh, are there any places where there are slaves that we could rescue? Uh, I mean, he would tell you that the Talon Grand Empire has lots of slaves that you could try to rescue. <laughs> but that would be okay. like, you know, I mean, you'd be attacking the uh, yeah. Empire directly if you were going to do something like that. Uh, I think if they knew about uh, something like uh, slave report in uh, the asteroid belt, the uh, Imperial Navy might have done something about it. So, um, be a bit busy. so he leaves and um, a, uh, a younger elf uh, who is introduced as uh, Private Meltia uh, Velthas um, <laughs> She'll give you some basic information that that they know about, so they you know kind of get you up How to speed on. How old do they look? Um, uh, like one twenty, give or take. Yeah, yeah. so I'll ask uh, ask about general information about the sphere, like the other planets. And... Yeah. So, um, first of all, the uh, uh, Talarn itself, the second planet, um, that one has two significant continents on it. Uh, one of them mm -hmm. is dominated by the Talongran Empire. And the other one uh, has, a, like, uh, dozens, hundreds of, of small kingdoms, you know, kingdoms of various sizes, sometimes at war, sometimes at peace, that kind of thing. It's, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of standard uh, assortment of uh, uh, kingdoms, um, elven kingdoms, dwarven kingdoms, gnomish uh, realms, hu tons of human kingdoms, uh, some halfling lands. Uh, some no man's lands with humanoids, that kind of thing. So, kind of like you know your your standard uh, kind of setting. Um, so far as they know, uh, the Talon Grand Empire only got access to Helms uh, about two decades ago. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And what was the what was the other continent called? The Tal Talon Grand Empire. They'll they'll continent. give you the names. It's fine. Don't worry. Okay. Cool. Okay. It, it's immaterial at the moment um, all right fine. so but uh, uh before that uh within like the the last century or so um they'd started making building ships that could cross the 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 ocean between the continents and yeah so like you know the talon grand empire basically dominated their their uh continent over the last two millennia and then built some ships and, and discovered that there is a whole other continent with people to uh, conquer. And, hey, look, there are elves there. Um, they, like, elves being long-lived uh, are seen as, like, family heirlooms kind of thing. That, you know, it, it's, like, prestigious to have a, 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 a elven slaves for noble families because uh, it, then right. it, it pa they pa they're passed down between multiple generations and stuff like that. Um, the uh, Talon Grand Empire had, you know, started making excursions across the ocean to, um, at, at start, mostly just like raids uh, and taking back uh, uh, slaves, especially elven slaves from uh, the, uh, the Western continent. And then, uh, again, somewhere within the last 20 years, they got uh, uh, access to Helms um, and uh, being a continent-sized empire, they had considerable amount of resources to get a, a lot of them quickly. So right now, the Talon Grand Empire, um, to a large extent, with the exception of that other continent, they dominate the inner portion of the sphere. So the asteroid cluster, the innermost planet, and the second planet, uh, flying between them is very dangerous for, um, for the, uh, 
the Elven Imperial Navy. Outside of that, the talent, the the elves basically have control. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, the innermost planet is basically a a desert world um, that does have some uh, Talongrand outposts and stuff like that. Um, but it is quite quite hot and stuff like that. And they but they they've discovered some sort of resource there that. Uh, is quite useful to them. Um, they have some outposts in the asteroid cluster as well, and given that it's an asteroid cluster, it's uh, that makes it a little bit more difficult for the elves to assault and things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, further out, the um, the water world here. Um, it's it's an icy world. It's very cold. It has a uh, uh, rings that does have a lot of uh, dwarven uh, uh, citadels in it. Um, but there are some dwarves and uh, snow elves living on the surface. But it's very hostile, so the uh, the Talangran hasn't been able to do a whole lot and uh, uh, to to capture them. It's very difficult for them to like oh, make raids that's... there. Mm -hmm. That's uh, interesting to hear from Laftal. Uh, you would probably he's... be unfamiliar with uh, Snow Elves. Yeah, that's why I'm having such a, an odd reaction. Of like, yeah. Same with like, the Everyal. They're like, oh, another offshoot branch of so, Elves. What was this? Uh, was this a moon around the water world? On the ring around the water world. Old oh, ring, sorry. Yeah, uh, that does not have a, a moon. It has a ring. Uh, is Talarn Empire, is it Human Empire or... Yeah, it's a Human Empire. Okay. Um, I, it, it has some, like, uh, the, uh, slave population is mixed, mostly human, um, mm -hmm. and, but it also has free dwarves and gnomes and halflings and stuff like that, and some of them may also be slaves and, and things like that. It's only, like... Any other slave can can buy their freedom or be freed or something like that. Elves are the exception. Elves are like like if they encounter elves, make them slaves kind of thing. Are there any other uh, noble uh, houses except human ha noble houses in there? So some of them do have some half elven blood, um, but they're kind of looked down upon. So oftentimes, if uh, uh, a a lord uh, inherits, and they're they're half elven. They tend to their the house fortunes tend to plummet after that. Kind of yeah. look down upon. Um, but there's no dwarven nobles over. No. no. Um, the uh, the air world uh, here, um, it is. Uh, it there are some. Um, rocky worlds, uh, you know, like rocky uh, bodies within the air world, and there are some ports there. Um, there there's a lot of uh, uh, dwarven, halfling, gnomish, and, and lizard men uh, ports there and stuff like that. They're generally friendly towards uh, the Elven Imperial Navy. Uh, it's also, like, the primary place where pirates are located. Um, it's uh, kind of a, a freebooting world, and it's difficult to get to because uh, uh, it's very dangerous to take ships in there uh, if you don't know if you don't know intimately where to go and stuff like that. Um, storms and the uh, the rocks flying about can make it very difficult to land. So it's a, a ideal place for uh, pirates and smugglers and stuff like that. But they're generally friendly towards the Elven Imperial Navy. Or at least neutral. Um, mm. And uh, then you have uh, uh, Linothar itself. Um, so after a uh, one question, mm -hmm, yeah, uh, was there anything on the moon of Talarn? Uh, yeah. Let me look. Hold on a second. Uh, do do do. Uh, it's basically uh, 
naturally lifeless. Uh, it does have an atmosphere, but it's difficult to breathe and unpleasant. Um, they believe the uh, Elven Imperial Navy believes that uh, the Talarn Empire does have some mining outposts there, but they don't have any information about them. Okay. It's it's generally a a, a fairly inhospitable place. Mm -hmm. uh, the moon of Salfaria here. Um, that is a uh, a water world moon, and uh, there's no solid land. Um, just uh, they'll they'll tell you that there are uh, various uh, kind of uh, small tribal uh, settlements on um, large turtles that uh, slowly swim about the uh, surface of the world. Uh, and the moon around Linathar is an air world, and uh, other than refreshing the uh, air envelopes, I'll tell you that there's nothing, nothing there. Um, uh, the tribal, uh, tribal people on the water moon, uh, uh, do they live on sh boats or? They live on the turtles. Ah, uh, turtles. Yeah. They're, they're mm. like, they're island-sized turtles. Okay. Um, so, after you get the uh, kind of rundown on the sphere, um, the uh, the private will say that uh, the one thing that they know about uh, the um, you know the keeping of the elven slaves is that they they have some sort of potion that they use on elves that kind of like blanks out their uh, their memory and stuff like that. Um, it's it can be eliminated after you know, like if if a, uh, an elven slave is freed, but it takes uh, powerful magic or a lot of time to eliminate the uh, the the stuff in the system. So does that have to keep on being re reapplied? Uh, it does, but it doesn't take much like once they're once it's been uh once they've been affected uh it takes a relatively small amount to to like you know keep mm. re-upping it kind of thing reapplying it um so after you get that information uh the uh, captain talentia starlight will will return and say um as new people to the sphere and ones without any any known connection uh, really uh, we have a proposal for you if you would be interested in helping us are you interested in at least hearing about it yes i think so yes please So to give you a bit of a of background, uh, the Talingran Empire is currently ruled by uh, one Empress Mavica. We learned some time back that, uh, well, many years ago, she had an older, illegitimate half-brother uh, who was, in fact, half-elven. We have recently learned that... Uh, he was not slain, as we thought, many decades ago, and is, in fact, kept in a prison. Oh. Would you be willing uh. to take your small team in covertly and try to free him? That sounds like it could be a very interesting move. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, it's a move that could be used to cause internal dispute on the Empire and thus helping uh, elves. Indeed. Uh, the idea is that we would put our support behind him. Uh, he was known for as one who opposed the slavery of the Empire. And the hope is that he would be willing... Uh, we would not set him up as this if he is unwilling, but the hope is that he would be willing to essentially lead a rebellion and take control of the Empire and make necessary changes. 
Well, uh, that, that would be good, uh, good since uh, I think everyone in uh, our company opposes slavery. Yeah. Yeah, so, pretty much, and I'm all for <coughs> changing up the status quo as it was. How we will... Just says, when do we start? <laughs> well, don't... How well do your people know where this uh, alternative leader is being held? Well, we know that he... We know where he is being held. We know of the prison. It is a, a prison with a reputation uh, for the worst criminals and the most dangerous political uh, mm -hmm. prisoners to be kept. Uh, we, uh, So far as we have been able to determine, it does not hold a substantial population, at least compared to the size of the Empire. Um, and they only take in a, s a small number of people each year. Uh, their prisoners are not kept there permanently. Uh, mm. They they serve terms and then are released. Um, are there any other prisoners that would be good secondary objectives for us? We know very little about what other prisoners are there besides the fact that it is both... Uh, violent criminals of the worst sort and the most dangerous political prisoners, those who yeah. either pose the it's greatest case. threat to the status quo or those who uh, have offended members of power with yeah, in a particularly substantial way. What can right. you tell us about this uh, potential pretender to the throne? Uh, only that uh, he is believed dead, and that is what uh, what has long been uh, said, and it is claimed that he was slain by anarchists who oppose the, the Empire itself and want to destroy the Empire. Uh, of course, I'm the story so is that did, uh, did. we ourselves were funding groups such as that. Do you know if there is a uh support for him if he comes back there would be some support he is half elven and he is, was illegitimate he was uh, uh, not born what? to the she... previous empress the or the, the empress's yes. wife he was born to uh, the emperor the father of both the uh, current empress and himself it strikes me as odd as they would keep a potential rival to the as someone that could literally turn your world upside down alive. Well, for it's all that they, that... for all that they are uh, a slaving empire, they actually do not have many crimes that they have a death penalty for. Being a oh, slaving so... empire, they oftentimes will put people to uh, to work for in as punishment. Oh, so they're like, oh. uh, don't oh, waste also... good slave labor. Also, also, it's a potential contingency plan if something happens to the current uh, leader. Well, well I, don't I don't know about, about that, one. but it could also be that uh, the Empress herself did not want to actually see her half-brother slain. Uh, it's hard to say. Mm. All we know is that uh, we, are, we have it on uh, good authority that he is alive. Yeah, okay. The prison Let's itself is the located prison. the prison itself is located within an isolated mountain. It's possibly an extinct volcano, long extinct. Uh so it is entirely underground. Uh prisoners mm -hmm. who have been released uh, are magically conditioned so they cannot speak of things, but there are rumors. Um we have attempted have... magical penetrations from afar using teleportation and the like, uh, and those have all failed. So we believe there are substantial magical protections that are in place to prevent those from outside getting in to effect an escape. I would think that uh, considering the size and uh, potential resources of the Empire and the 
prison you are describing, they would uh, it would be the one of their highest security places. It is, but it is also said to be inescapable, so it may in fact have relatively few guards around it for the number of prisoners. Do not well, yes, I meant, uh, meant more about the magically secure. Indeed. Uh, Braxton, did you have a question? Yeah, uh, have you got any contacts in the nearby area where we can lie no, up on the way No, unfortunately in? we do not. All of the... Uh, spies that we had uh, getting this information have either been uh, killed or Im- or captured. Does this... Hmm. Um, yeah. You said Lapa. that it's well, in... Lapa, uh, you had a question? Okay. Uh, I'm a bit torn here <laughs> on asking this. I'm thinking. I'm not saying this. You can, yet, you but can ask as player, and then see if that's a, if you think it would be. You know, ask other players. I'm surmising player, whether or not it's a good idea to inquire if there are any thieves guilds that are, uh, may have uh, resources that the Elven Imperial Navy don't have. Or actually, yeah, say that's fine. You can ask organizations. About that. Like, just because you're asking about, like, everyone knows that Thieves' Guilds exist, and uh, it's not unreasonable to, to be like, you know, we're, we're trying something illicit Have you illicit tried here, the underground covert. networks, um, as it were? Uh, so he will say, uh, they are quite strict against uh, uh, Thieves' Guilds. They stamp them out wherever they can find them. Uh, and the mountain itself is quite isolated. Uh, there are some nearby towns and, and outposts, but it is uh, mostly farmlands or barren grasslands uh, around it. Um, there are no nearby thieves' guilds, and uh, what contacts we have with uh, the underground in the Empire uh, has given us what knowledge we currently have. Uh... So you say that the mountain is uh, far away from uh, any larger settlements? Yeah. Uh, Do you have any information about uh, if there's nearby military installations? There is. uh, They do get uh, regular uh, shipments of supplies, um, and uh, they have it on good authority that, um, while it's never been... It's never... Pardon me. Happened. There is uh, a uh, like a garrison of more troops that could arrive there if there's a problem, but it would take uh, half a day or so. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's up by horse. Do you? They would be. They would be like force marching kind of thing as quickly as possible. I mean, they could. Uh, they could probably know... get smaller groups there faster. But do you know? Uh, since this is, if this is inside a mountain, if it's uh, and it uh, supposedly uh, should be that it's uh, pretty much unescapable, uh, if there's a uh, if the entrance is then uh, on uh, high high above the mountain. No, uh, the sur- the the sole entrance that they're aware of is actually uh, on the like uh, at, at the foot of the this uh, mountain kind of thing. Oh, I hate to say this. Mm-hmm. Laftel says, in Gaia, where's a drow when you need one? Maybe really good at a uh, underground. Well, you know, the interesting thing is that there is a rumor that there is a, a contact with a con- like a connection to the Underdark beneath it. Uh, and some of the uh, those in charge of the uh, prison disappear prisoners uh, as slave trades. We have no confirmation on this and we have no such contact. Mm. We know very little about the Underdark beneath the Talingran Empire anyway. So, sounds like our way in. So, this mission uh, well, he, he will him, stress. Uh... He will stress that that is, that is like a popular rumor and they have no way of knowing whether this is uh, at all mm-hmm. true or not. Um, uh, I, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Uh, this rescue attempt, uh, you said uh, that uh, we would also be getting potentially some elite troops from you? He didn't say anything about elite troops. 
Well, or you need, you need to help us. Or something like that. Uh, or, uh, we asked a question, I'm sorry. At, uh, are, are, you, are you asking or, if he is going to send troops? Yeah, if if he knows if he, we get any help, or should or is it just us? Uh, it's because we're not affiliated. Right, it's because you're not affiliated. He does have some things that could help you, uh, but they're not, like, troops. Uh, the it, It's going to be up to you how you want to do it. If you want to, like, literally storm the, the prison, uh, or if you want to, like, covertly access it, I mean... He'll he'll say it's it's underground. There has to be more, thi you know, like ways in besides just the the front entrance. It just might be yeah. ways in that that no person could fit through. Um, do you do you know if they fly ships over the top of this mountain? He doesn't know about that. He doesn't know about that. Right. Uh, he will yeah. say that. Um, uh, so he does know now that you have the uh, cloaking helm. He will say that if you yeah. want to use that for this mission, yeah, uh, he will allow your continued use. Otherwise, you, you got to turn it back into them. Yeah. yeah, I think we will have to be using it. Uh, otherwise, it, yeah, otherwise just... doing any scouting on the place is going to be risking uh, risking of us being seen. Yeah. Well, I'm just I'm just wondering where we can hide. The flitter. If we have that, still keep that on the flitter. I'm sorry to be a break into this, but do we need to talk about this now? No, we don't. I just want to give you some information, some more information that you can then think about it between this okay. session and next session. Like, I want to try to give you as much information as I can, and then if you guys have more questions later, you can come back. Uh, that kind of thing. But I want to give you as much information as I can, so you have as much to think about between now and next week as possible. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Right. Brax is going to ask for maps so he can see places. He has he has no get. no detailed maps. Um, they okay. can they can give you they they like they can give you a basic uh, um, uh, description of where it They'll is. It'll be pretty maps. easy to find. It's a single isolated mountain in like flatland. That's why they yes. believe it's a, an extinct volcano, and it's pretty large. Like it's a pretty large mountain. Uh, so in terms of like you know. Uh, they they know that they have patrols, and I did make a mistake. Uh, it's six hours that uh, uh, troops can get there from a nearby garrison, not 12. My mistake. Um, so, real fast, some other things that they, they believe. Uh, scrying magic doesn't work either. Um, mm -hmm. So, they, they, they believe that there's a number of, you know, wards and protections, uh, perhaps anti-magic fields, uh, uh, glyphs or symbols or something like that That's protecting the most powerful it. kind uh he like has Arc no Mage? he has no he has no information on that he does not like other than the fact that they're they're you know there's a warden and assistant warden and uh, a contingent of guards that's that's what they know they don't know any they don't have any information about the uh the individuals in charge of the uh prison although they do suspect that um there are spellcasters amongst the defenders like i mean amongst the, mm. the contingent there um they do have some rumors like these are popular rumors amongst people in the empire that they've been able to pick up but again this is just common rumors so whether any of them are true or not who knows um so one rumor is that uh, like everything is stone, and the stone cells for the prisoners have no doors. Um, it, no one has ever been able to uh, escape. Is the rumor mm -hmm. like it is? It is un inescapable. Is the the what what everyone says? Um, so far as the Elven Imperial Navy has been able to find, they have never been able to find it confirmation of anyone escaping, or even rumor of someone having escaped. Um, mm -hmm. There's also a rumor that uh, metal men or giant beasts guard the halls. Um, there's a rumor that there, uh, as he said, that there's a, a secret passage to the Underdark, and some prisoners are sold to the to races down there uh, on, on the sly. Um, the 
elves will say that uh, uh, their information is very sketchy, but they've never been able to find someone who is supposed to have been released and didn't get released uh, without, like, kind of confirmation. It's at least a, a letter saying that they were killed kind of thing. Like, th there hasn't been anyone who's mm. truly disappeared. At the very least, there's, like, the family learns that they're, they, they've died kind of thing. Um, and if you formulate a basic plan before you leave, uh, the elves may be able to help you in some way. Um, they, since you have some, uh, elves, uh, they're going to get back to you and, and have some, some uh, things that might help you disguise yourselves. Um, but they know well, that your, just... your ship has a small, uh, sailing vessel, you might be able to land at the eastern continent and then take your flitter over to the western continent or even land as a merchant in the Talagran Empire and fly the flitter or something like that. Like, that kind of thing is up to you. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, like, if you're, if you, however you decide to, to try and free the prisoner is up to you, whether you, like, try to sneak in and get them out without anybody knowing whether you try to free everyone, like, just bash yeah. the doors down, kill everyone uh, who's there, and free all the prisoners, that's entirely up to you. They will note that there are obviously uh, violent prisoners and stuff like that in there, but it's also Talon Grand Empire's problem to deal with is kind of how they look at it. Yeah. That's, so that'll essentially be on your conscience, how you want to deal, deal with that. Alas, Olas is not so keen on uh, releasing those that are uh, legitimate violent prisoners that should be kept locked away. But uh, well, any don't... political prisoner or such, uh, he is more than willing to release. Unless we can get into an office and have loads of time to look through files, we're not going to know who's who. I mean, we most likely have to go to office to find out uh, where they keep the emperor's uh, half brother yeah yeah so i mean you might have to do that but um that's up to you and certainly um like a lot of information you might have to do on the ground uh yeah things. has anyone has anyone already tried using featherfall spells and jumping down the top of the volcano to get in it's an extinct volcano so it's it's not like there there isn't like a deep pit kind of thing it's it's a it's like it's like a mount, isolated mountain yeah they're not even they're not even positive that it is an it, it is an extinct volcano oh okay like it, so it, it might a, not a, be a wizard a wizard thousands of years ago could have raised a mountain there for some reason who knows right okay all right um, i thought i might be way in I mean, it it might be, but again, they you you might have to go down there and and do that. Like they they have tried magical means to get in, like teleportation and stuff like that, and all that failed. They've tried scrying magic, and that failed. Hmm. So, yeah, um, I think mm -hmm. I think uh, our first uh, when we do leave, our first stop should possibly be the other continent. Uh, yeah, he will say that they, they won't have any more information. Like, that would yeah, just be but, a uh, safe place that you could put in kind of thing. Yeah, that that's that's why I go there. Okay. Having a place to retreat to, a base of operations, as it were. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. It's also across a continent, so it's quite far. Yeah. I guess, I guess um, Braxton would ask if there's... Uh, if there's no locations for the supporters of uh, this guy, basically he's just going to say if you if you break him out, bring him back to us, and and we'll we'll go from there. Okay. All right. Um. In Do you know what the sky looks like? Uh they aren't exactly sure. They'll give you what they know. Um. Before you go. Uh, so if you did end up like uh. being able to look into every cell, maybe you'd be able to find him. I mean, he's half elf, so uh, you know if they have a uh, hundred prisoners and three of them are half elves and one of them's a woman, you're down to two people right there. <laughs> so yeah. you know, um, and if, if he had brown yeah, hair and the and 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 you're between a brown haired person and a black haired person, yeah, you know. 
Um, or you yeah. can just free the two half elves and and hope that you got mm. the right one, kind of thing. I mean, up to you. What's the family name? What's the family lineage name? Just Talengram. Of the, the that's like the the empire's name for the uh, the the family. Talengram. They, yeah, they Talengram. they've been Talengram. ruling Talengram. They've been ruling the empire for. And both children have inherited that name. Yeah. Well. Uh, He's illegitimate, but he doesn't have any other name. Alright, so he may not have a last name. Um... Alright, in terms of XP, uh, that is mm -hmm. going to be uh, 2,000 XP for uh, everyone. And let's see. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think anyone did any uh, special uh, separate things. Uh, doesn't spell research give XP? Yeah, I got spell research as well. Right, it does. Uh, fourth level spell for uh, you, Laftal. Uh huh. All right, so that's two hundred for your priest. And what was the level of the spell that you research, Solus? Third level. And that was wizard. Yeah. All right, one fifty for your mm -hmm. wizard. Okay. All right, so when we come back next time, we'll see uh, what the party has uh, come up with. Um, obviously, like any any plan uh, will require, you know, reconnaissance and stuff like that. And I, I, you know, I would expect you to be doing that as opposed to uh, just going in and, and saying, yeah, we, we know exactly how everything is. Um, yeah. So, uh, but... Uh, you know, if you come up with more questions, you will have that opportunity if you want to um, check around town before you go. Uh, you know, the the you got that time. So, all right. Uh, so when we come back next time, we will see what the uh, party comes up with. So I want to thank everyone for playing. And I want to thank everyone out there for watching. We will be back next week. See you then, everyone. Thanks for the game. Uh, thanks Take care, for the everyone. Game. Thanks for the game. Thanks for having us.